So to get to my code now, you'll do a git checkout of version 0223 and then you'll get to the current code. Now, let's just look, this is running now, we can now do slash user, but that'll be kind of annoying. So let's add it up here instead. And let's say you need to be an admin to get the user icon here. So where do we change all of this? I haven't talked about this before, but we have a nav bar here. That's actually a component of its own. Let's go into the code and see where that's hiding. If you go into app, let me just shut down, down this one. Under app, <clears throat> you have one called components and we have a lot of things. We touch the author a little bit. You have something called modal, that's to make some modal setup. And then we have the nav bar, which is where we need to work now to get a new nav bar. So I'm going under nav bar HTML. I don't need to look at any of the others uh, because it's actually right here. You can see this is the one for admin. And let's just change that. Since everything's pretty much set up, then all we need to do is just add, uh, instead of admin, I'm going to go to user instead. We can change that. So let me just change these right now. Now, if you wanted a completely new route, you pretty much just copy this. Let me just do it to show you. So just copy this and write two here and two here. <clears throat> um, this won't work right now because I don't have a US ref for user two, but I do have one for user. What will happen is it'll set the slash user in the end. And then that will of course match the beautiful user guy we did a second ago under the user JS here. It'll hit this guy right here. So we'll find it and, and everything will be happy. So let's uh, go into the nav bar again and save this. And if I go back now, you'll see I have user one and user two. They're both there because I'm actually an admin right now. So that's awesome. I'll remove user 2 again. I just want to show you that's where you can control your nav bar. And this is, of course, the entire right side of the nav bar. That's all you're seeing right here. Okay. And then if I go back, this is the way it looks to get the first part of the nav bar, where if you're on a phone or something, you'll get the small squares here with a drop down and you'll get a headline of some kind. So that's the nav bar. And now we can actually click this link. Let's see if it actually works and go to the user page. That was awesome. Now we can also navigate on our user setup.